I've got my dollar store glass or plastic plate. It came eight to a pack, eight for a buck, remember. I'm going to put that about right here. Oh, I need to leave some space here for the, the wall of the of the cooler. I'm going to make a little mark around it. Now, this is not my cut line. This is the line I'm going to measure from to make a cut line. Now, I'm not putting it in the center because on this side, I'm going to have my heater, fan, thermostat combination. So I want the, the viewing window to not look at that. I want it to look at what's inside. From there, I'm going to do a little bit of freehanding. If I had something that was a half inch smaller diameter than this, it'd be perfect. But I don't. I'm just going to freehand this a little bit. At that point, we can start cutting. Done cutting now. Ready to push this window out. And we have a nice round hole. And this is now ready to apply right there. And a second one on the inside to make another two-ply or two-pane window, which will be great for insulation. I've got the first window done now. As you can see here, I've used the foil tape around the outside edge, in outside and inside, so it is two panes thick, great for insulation. Something to be aware of on the inside. First of all, if, if the seal on the inside is not real good, you may find some water will con condense inside there, and because it's all sealed off, it's hard to, to get out. Um, so seal this inside portion really well. Outside, it's not as critical. The inside, try to seal it really well. Something else to be aware of. I used the, the silver foil tape in here, but on the inside, you may want to use something different only because the baby birds like to peck at things that are shiny, and especially with a light bulb in there that uh, foil tape is going to be very shiny. They will want to peck at it. For the purposes of this project to see if we can do this, I've used this tape, but just something to be aware of uh, for consideration. Now we have one window. We have a nice window on the top. And suddenly we have a very visible inside. I am going to do the same thing on each side of the incubator, but not yet. Because right now, I want to get to the exciting part, which is how to configure this heater, fan, and thermostat to make it work inside this thing. Well, so far, for a harness to hold the thermostat and the fan and the heater together, this is what I've come up with. As I mentioned before, I want to try using a hanger and see if I could use just a simple uh, metal coat hanger that is laying around the house and see if I can get that to work. Here's where I am so far. I'm going to be hanging the thermostat. The thermostat will will tape securely onto here. I'll use that same foil tape and secure that on there so it will be secured very well there. And the fan is secured about six inches away, maybe five inches away. And the, the light bulb will be situated like this so that the, it is very close to the fan. The fan will be blowing across in and across the, the light bulb and blowing the air into the thermostat. This will help speed up the heat transfer in the thermostat and make it kind of artificially more sensitive than it's designed to be. We'll see if that works. That's the theory. I think I've got it figured out how I'm going to mount these three pieces together. Watch this and see what you think. All right, light bulb goes about here. The fan and thermostat combination, again, I just used a coat hanger bent into a bit of an odd configuration, wraps around the holes in the fan, wraps through the thermostat, this holds it pretty, it's pretty snug as you can see, it's, it doesn't, uh, it's not going to move around at all. That will mount to the wall much like this. So the fan blows directly onto the light bulb and the heat goes directly into the thermostat. Let's see how it works. It's about time to splice the power going into the heater into the thermostat. Let's show you how it's done. Make a small cut in one of the two wires. So just one of the, the wires is cut. Then you can peel this back. A little bit there. 
little bit there. And you can strip those wires. And those are ready to be attached to the thermostat. Make sure it's good and tight. Repeat that on the second wire. You now have a power supply that's attached to your thermostat. So when you plug your light bulb back into here, that will turn on and off based on the temperature. I have to give you a warning here. When you plug this extension cord in, these screws are going to be live. If you touch them, you'll get shocked. You want to protect these. Put something over the, them to insulate them. Electrical tape, some kind of rubberized material so that these cannot be touched. I will do that a little bit later in the process, but I just want to give you that warning because that's very, very important to do. You've got to be aware of that, especially because that's going to be sitting up or facing up so that when you take the lid off, those are going to be exposed. Make sure to cover them. I've got the basics of it mounted now. Let me move it a little bit closer so you can see it. So you can see the thermostat close to the light bulb fan down there. Just mounted it with the, the same foil tape I've been using for the rest of it. Something to note here is if I were to do this again, I would move it out just a little bit farther so the light bulb is a little bit farther from the styrofoam. I'm going to line this entire side with foil tape to help reflect the light back so the styrofoam doesn't get as hot. We are just about ready to test this. I have put a little slot in the top of the, of the roof as well as in the side here so that the power cord can come out. I also put a small hole down here so the fan cord can come out. So now I'm going to plug in the fan and I'll be ready to turn the power on and get some heat in here. We'll do some fine tuning on the thermostat and we'll see how well this thing works. The fan is on. Now it is time to plug in the power to the light bulb. Let's see if my wiring works. Nice thing about using a light bulb as a heater, you always know when it's on. You'll notice on the thermostat that I put black tape over those two screw heads so that uh, no issue in getting shocked here. The fan is blowing heat directly onto the thermostat. I have not touched the setting on the thermostat. I believe it comes set at about 110 degrees, so I will be adjusting that down uh, as the thing gets warm and as I need to. I'm going to go get a thermometer, start measuring the temperature, we'll see what happens inside. For a thermometer, I'm going to use the incubatorwarehouse.com thermometer hygrometer. It comes with a nice remote probe that I can stick this inside the incubator. It will measure both the temperature and the humidity, and this is what we'll use to test how well this thing is going to work. I have the thermometer hygrometer installed now. What I've done is put it into the lid, it put, punched a hole in it so that it will dangle down at whatever level I would like it to, and I can adjust that uh, to whatever location I would like, but I can make it go down so it will be at the same level as the eggs. You may be able to see it in the window there, dangling down. Temperature right now, 89.8 .8 degrees. We'll see how that increases.